Hi guys, welcome back. Um, no videos for a while. Christmas, New Year, puppy, uh, lots of stuff going on. Um, but back now, back in it, one video a week. And this week we are starting with the Charmwood, as planned, uh, BD. <laughs> Charmwood BD48, it's the bench sander, um, disc and belt sander, that will be one of the two items on the flip top um, uh, workbench. So I'm making two flip top workbenches that will uh, uh, that will sit in a corner and be dragged out. One will have the bench sander and the planar thicknesser, the zipper, there's a video on that. If um, if you want to see the, the review of the um, zipper planer thicknesser, the bench sander, um, I'll do a review obviously once I've opened it and set it up. And uh, the bandsaw and the drill press will be on another flip top workbench. And these, I forgot to mention at the time, but um, Paul from Paul Wood Woodworking in Devon very nicely made this during. Uh, during the non-lockdown, I went and picked them up while he was in uh, Cornwall. Very, very kindly cut these for me, so um, I've got the rods to make the two um, uh, flip-top workbenches. I'll put a link to his uh, his channel below. So to do that, obviously, we need to get everything ready. So the, the planar thickness is working, the drill press is working, and hmm, the bandsaw is the Shepek bandsaw I'm still having problems with, but. It is sort of working. I uh, need to put a new blade on it, see if that makes it any better. But for now, we're looking at the Charmwood DB48. And I have actually opened the box because there was another item in there, which was this new um, uh, respirator I bought. I had one. Where is it now? Here. Yeah. Which is okay. Uh, but what I noticed is quite often I want a respirator, but I'd want to be able to see as well and these goggles that come with this one are not particularly fantastic so i prefer to use my um, eye protection with this when i need eye protection and when i'm if i'm sanding i can just wear this and actually be able to see with no eye protection when it's not needed so this was in the box so i took that out also from yandles um, just like the uh, planar thicknesser the zipper HB204 that I did the review on, um, straight from Yandles in Somerset, no issues. I've never been there, but apparently a great place to visit. Lots of wood stock um, or stock of wood. But, but for having these things delivered relatively locally, it's a, it's a, pretty, good, um, a pretty good company to deal with. So, opening the box, this is what you find. Not that. Mitre. I forget. Um, we have a table for the mitre gauge. I can actually, I don't know if there's one on. Yeah, you can see there what the uh, final, final product looks like. This actually looks like it's in one large lump, which is a good thing as far as setting up is concerned. Another part of the table, but not so good if you're an idiot and you put the box on the work bench and now you need to take it out of the box we will manage um, it is a bit larger than I thought but luckily the work the flip top workbench is um, I think 60 600 mil wide um, so no problem for this luckily so wish me luck Okay, that's really heavy, it's going on the floor. Sorry, you can't see that. That is actually quite heavy. This is much bigger than I thought. 
but great. There's no problem with that because the footprint in this room, and this room is, I think, 12 by 14 feet. Um, so four by four and a half meters square. Um, the footprint of the of the um, flip top workbench is going to be 70 by 70. I think it's 70 by 70. So um, let's just check that. Yeah, these are 71. So it's probably going to be 67, 68. So that's 60. That's 60. So we have no problem. And the reason I'm making two flip top workbenches is just grab this. As you can see here, there's a, this is like a, um, a full sheet. So 2440 by 1220 millimeters or um, what would that be? Eight foot by four feet um, workbench. Um, absolutely fantastic. I love it. Unfortunately, I didn't film it. I wasn't filming at the time. Uh, but the, the rest of the room, now this is on wheels, so it can swivel around the room. It can be completely over this side, completely over that side, um, or completely up here, turned, or completely over there. So the, the rest of the space I have if I pull this across, you'll see the rest of the space I have where the drill press is down there, there'll be two flip top workbenches and I can pull them out this way whenever I need them, push this to one side or, you know, everything's going to be on wheels. So, so it works. I've tested it and it, I've tested it and it works. So that's all good. There we go. Hopefully you can see. Uh, so here you have it. Fortunately, this does have four good bolt holes to, to bolt it down to the flip top workbench, which is going to be great. You have the disc sander here. So clearly, I would have thought this will be fixed on here. And the mitre um, slot obviously is, is on both tables, so this can be moved. Not too sure how useful the mitre slot will actually be, but um, and then we have this, which I presume moves with this handle. No, that's not it. Anyway, this is an unboxing, not a not a putting together and fixing. So um, that's what you get: the the table for the disc part, this other table, <laughs> this other table, which would be, I would have thought, fixed in there. Yeah, it is fixed in there. So I guess like this, maybe. I think that's right. It looks like it's right. Um, but when we do the assembly and first test video, then obviously I'll put all that together. Uh, it does not come with, let me just check. Great news if you're like me and you don't like putting things together particularly, is that there's only this bag of nuts and bolts. So that's not gonna take us very long. There's a dust collection and dust collection bag in here. And that's it. What I was gonna say, it does not come with um, extra discs, sanding discs, so or belts. So um, I know my hand belt sander is a different size to this, so I will need to get some uh, belts. But that's the good thing about, about buying from someone like Gandalf's or any, anywhere else that's got some stock, is that you can just um, you can just check what disc you need for what machine and, and, and buy a pack of, uh, of both discs and, and belt to have some stock. So this is good. Uh, there's a few small things I've made recently, one for a friend who wanted uh, three blocks and a, and a small cylinder to use in a form. Um, I, it was really difficult because I didn't have a table that I could um, that I could maneuver a piece around and, 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 and sand down to a line. I am already noticing, however, 
the, the disc. So this disc, I, you might even be able to notice it on there, is not flush to the to the tool, so it might not be on perfectly. Might have to take this this uh, front part out and rescrew it on because that 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 would not sand evenly. Here you can see there's some you may not be able to see, but here the the uh, the actual sanding paper is slightly inside, and here it's eighth quarter of an inch or, or se several millimeters outside of the tool so obviously once that's spinning with the table in front of it it's going to be at an angle so that's already something that I need to to sort out um, this looks fine so there you go really box of screws and bolts the two tables one for each the disc sander and the belt sander the dust collection and the mitre it's definitely going to be something very simple to put together, apart from this problem that I've just noticed. So um, we'll uh, we'll look at that when we do the assembly um, and and first test. But um, that's what you get in the box anyway for the uh, Charmwood belt and disc sander DB sorry BD48. Uh, I'll have to put the price in the link below because I I, I can't remember the. The price, I think it might have been 120 quid, but I'm not sure. So um, we'll have a look at that in the next video when when we're checking out the uh, bird just landed on the roof. When we're checking out the uh, the assembly. So if you are going to get one, maybe wait for the next video and and, and see the review. Um, but uh, that's what you get in the box, and that's good to know because I would have really liked to have seen what you got in the box before uh, before buying it and and seen this, the actual size. This, this could actually be um, a bit of a negative if you're in a tight space. If this was gonna be fixed on this bench, I wouldn't have been happy about the fact that um, it's gonna take up you know, maybe an eighth of the whole bench. Luckily it's not, it's gonna be on wheels and it's gonna be separate and that's absolutely fine, but that's something definitely uh, um, good to know. I'm looking around just to make sure I didn't forget anything. I didn't for once. So um, there you go. Happy Christmas, too late for that. So there you go. Happy New Year. Uh, sorry there was no video last week, but uh, back on it now. And the next video will no doubt be the assembly and first trial. And then the third one will be a review. Um, while loading some logs for the fire the other day, I found this piece of, I think it's ash. I bought oak and ash as a mix, so I, to be honest, I'm not very sure. Um, but whatever it is, I have an idea of um, using the zipper planar thicknesser to make it a um, straight sided block and then an idea of what to turn it into so that that's coming up in a in a future video as is the making of the two um, workbench yeah workbenches flip top workbenches um, I've got a load of stock at the moment of um, four by two uh, eight foot long four by twos I've got about five of them so I was thinking maybe of making the flip top workbenches in the same manner as the, the this workbench, which is which is having the, the four corners with doubled up four by two, and maybe some um, uh, plywood walls, or doing it like I've seen on lots of YouTube videos, including Paul's um, Paul's woodworking, um, where he's just made it with plywood and without the the structure of four by twos. He says it holds brilliantly and solid as a rock. So, um, yes, it just depends on uh, personal preference. I might do one of each, so it makes a bit more of an interesting uh, video. That's coming up. Uh, what else is coming up? Nothing off the top of my head. There's a, a few projects for the house. As I say, the, the, the puppy is now 14 weeks, 14, 15 weeks old. Uh, so he already needs raised bowls to eat and drink from. So I'm gonna make something out of wood so that the bowls are raised from the floor. Um, and then there's two lots of uh, different shelves that need to go in the uh, in the gym. My wife's a personal trainer, as I may have said before. And um, <clears throat> there is a video on the uh, gym rack I made for her. And there's a couple of shelves to go in that gym that, uh, that need doing, so that's all coming up. So have a fantastic January. Uh, condolences to anyone doing dry January. And we will meet again on the next video. <laughs> Let's work out how this works.
and not break it. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Please subscribe um, if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out, and uh, th that all uh, that all uh, helps the channel to uh, to keep up some momentum um, despite me disappearing for a few weeks. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.